As a continuation from our last video on the concrete piers, let's pick up where we're about halfway complete. Getting to this point required me to literally lift tons of concrete again and again, but the good news was we had a pretty good process at this point and had figured out how to correctly mix concrete in the new mixer. My godfather was a glutton for punishment and had been helping us every day. One issue that we encountered was an existing footing that had been poured by a previous owner. We thought that we had accounted for this when we were doing our measurements, but we were wrong and ended up having pier locations directly above that footing. It required us to rent a hammer drill that allowed us to drill into the existing footing and put in some rebar to provide stabilization for those piers. Surprisingly, this process went much smoother than expected. Here we're working on piers 14 through 18, and my brother even makes a cameo appearance all the way from his ranch in southern Oklahoma. Alright, so today is the day that we're going to finish the piers. We've got 18 completed so far. You can see those. The uh, cardboard around those, um, you know, starting to peel off, which is fine. That's due to the rain and stuff. We were, gonna, we were planning to pull that off anyway, so that's not a big deal. What's important is that, you know, we've got concrete in there and that it's uh, in the process of curing. But anyways, you can see there's the two that we have remaining. And I put um, kind of some paneling over the holes over the last few days while we were getting a ton of rain, just to keep that from filling the holes back up. You can also see that we've got string everywhere, and that's how we are making sure that everything's level. I think we went back and found maybe one that looks like we were off by about a quarter inch or maybe a half inch or so, so we'll have to deal with that later when we're doing the subfloor. But overall, this is looking good. I'm excited to get this done. This has been a lot, a lot of work, let me tell you. It has just been day in and day out. We've been working on this probably for about a week and a half now. And I think in that week and a half, we've had three or four rain days. So I think my original schedule was, was accurate. I think I was planning five to seven days and without the rain days, I think we would be right at, uh, right, right in that time frame. Anyways guys, so I'll see you here in a few hours and I'll show you when we get completed. So here's the finished product. Man, it feels so great to have this completed. 
There are 20 piers there. The two that I showed you this morning that were outstanding. We were able to get those done. You can see those two right there. They've still got the wooden stabilizers on them. And we used almost all the concrete. I think in total I've got about eight bags left and they were on the bottom and uh, I was gonna return those to Lowe's. And as I was loading those, it became apparent that they had gotten wet during all the rain. So um, probably not gonna be able to return those now. But anyways, this was a huge milestone to get completed. Now we've gotta wait for the concrete to cure for about 30 days. And then once that is complete, we'll begin the subfloor. And the reason we have to wait 30 days um, is because once we start the subfloor, we're actually gonna be drilling into these concrete piers to attach the subfloor into the piers. And so we wanna make sure that the concrete has completely cured before we start doing that. So for the next 30 days, I'm gonna be working on things like uh, working with contractors to get windows and doors and carpenters and, and all of that. A lot of the work I'll be doing myself, but uh, some of that I'm, I am gonna be having others help me with. And also just doing some other things here around the homestead, I've got plenty to do. I'm gonna be moving a gate. I'll also be putting up a electric fence to help keep the cows out because I'm expecting the cows to return here probably in the next uh, week or so. And I don't want cows around kind of this construction area, my camper or the fruit trees. I've dealt with that before um, and cows are not good around fruit trees. They like to eat them. Even though I've got barbed wire on them, I don't, I don't really trust it. So anyways, that's kind of the plan. It feels good to put a bow on, on this. Uh, there were 175 bags of concrete that we used, and each one of those bags was 60 pounds. So if you do the math on that, it's 10,500. But anyways, that's a lot of concrete that's included in those piers. And at this point, I'm figuring that uh, once the cabin is built, it'll survive a meteor impact. All right, guys, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.